Welcome everybody to Forza Motorsport 6 and today we're dealing with the 1970 Porsche 914-6. Now this is a two-seater sports car that was designed, manufactured and marketed by not only Porsche but VW as well and it was built between 1969 and 1976. So yeah, one notable thing about this is the fact that not only does it have a really quite large boot at the front but it also has a really large boot at the back which is pretty uh, unusual, I could say the same for them uh, for sure. And yeah, not only is it versatile in terms of practicality, but it also can be turned into a uh, cabriolet. Obviously it's not a full convertible because it still has a roll bar at the back, but yeah, still a uh, convertible nonetheless. And somehow they've managed to slot an engine in the small space between the uh, passenger compartment and that large boot. So yeah, it's a uh, 2 litre flat 6 engine, so not only is it an engine that's in a small place, but it's a quite a large engine nonetheless, that has 125 horsepower and 131 pounds feet of torque, which is pretty decent, especially for the time, 1970, and it's, it is a uh, car that's mass produced, it's not like one of the uh, rarer sports cars from the 50s from Porsche and it weighs 2,196 pounds so it's not got a lot of weight to lug around either so you can make the most of all that 125 horsepower which is uh, pretty decent so yeah let's close that and uh, yeah though this version unfortunately sold quite poorly uh, compared to the 914 slash 4 which had a 2 litre flat, six, flat 4 engine and actually uh, outsold the Porsche 911 in its uh, production uh, span, actually sold 118,000 of them, which is, would be a lot today, never mind back in the 70s. But this car is obviously a sports car with uh, quite a fair bit of power, so yeah, we're going to take this out onto the track and see what it can do. Welcome to Virginia International Raceway, we're going to take this car around on the first lap and talk through it on the second lap. So yeah, despite the large engine for the kind of car that this is, it's not all that quick unfortunately. 0 to 60, 8.7 seconds and 0 to 126.419 seconds, going on to a top speed of 123 mile an hour. But that doesn't really bother me at all because it's a peppy little car that's agile and because it's as light as it is and being mid-engined as well, it's really well balanced. and really isn't all that much roll either in the suspension despite it being a bit soft on the a bit on the soft side and yeah I also love the look of it and I like the sound of it as well so yeah it's a fun little car really that on the whole does handle really well but the uh, 70s brakes do let you down on the occasion but on the whole it's a fun little car that I think personally is underrated from Porsche themselves Again, I think they should be doing a lightweight mid-engine cars again. Well, the Boxster really is the only thing that comes close to doing that kind of thing. So yeah, a cracking car as far as I'm concerned, and certainly underrated. It's a shame this version of the 914 didn't sell as well as the uh, less expensive version, but yeah, it still certainly helped Porsche in the long run. Selling more than 100,000 units is certainly going to help a car company rather than hinder it, and the fact that it sold more than a 911 at the time 
quite it shows how popular it was. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.